yeah, new video. Sorry about none yesterday, the day before, but I was too busy. Um, so whenever I upload this, I think it'll be tonight. Um, the Mac Quite Cute collection came out today, April 7th. So I thought I would do a naughty look. One kind of opposite of the Mac Quite Cute. So I am going to zoom in to this eye. Uh, you can't see it because it's kind of blurry, but it's pretty much like a smoky eye um, and not very cute. Yeah, so uh, a lot of the help from this look came from this book, which is by Kit Spencer, I believe, and it's called Pro Makeup. It has great uh, pictures of it, how to apply makeup, um, highlight and contouring. Helps a lot with that. Um, uh, yeah, love that book. Just really good book. So it's one of my fave makeup books. Um, yeah, let's get the tutorial started. First thing I'm gonna do is take Max Painterly Paint Pot and going to apply that all over my lid and my brow bone. So we're gonna be putting color up there too. First. Thing. Uh, I can zoom in. Okay, so first thing I did is I just took, it's gonna be hard to carry my NYX palette back and forth, so I'm just going to say like what the color is. Um, I just took a white on Max 239 brush. And I just took that there, just like a white, and I highlight my brow bone and the inside corner of my tear duct, or just my tear duct in general. So yeah, that part is done. Taking Urban Decay's eyeshadow brush and a light pink color, I am going to press that all over my lid. Moi lid. No idea why I said moi. Moi. Um, so yeah, just do that. Then after you do that, I'm going to take Max 222, no, 224, sorry, um, and take a darker purple mixed with a little bit of black. And then I'm going to take that and apply it, not in a circular motion, but more of a motion going just back and forth and really going into that crease. Yeah, so just like that. Then um, I'm gonna mix that with a little bit of actually a bubblegum pink and just do that one more time. So that way I have, you know, just like a little bit of cute in this look. Um, but not that much because I don't want cute in this look. Um, then taking like, just like an eyeliner brush, I'm taking this one by, it's like a no-name brand. Um, I think it might be Laura Monsieur, but the label ripped off or something. And then I'm just going to take a bubblegum pink. Most people wouldn't want to put a bubblegum pink under their eye. <laughs> Most women would not want this under their eye, but I'm not a woman, and I want this look to be outrageous. So I'm just applying that all under my eye, and that'll pretty much go away when I put the black over it. It's just kind of to give this look a little bit of an extra pop. Then taking that same color, I am just applying it to the inner corner of my crease. And now that's actually like all I did for the eye. Um, but then after I was done, I contoured a little bit more in my crease. I don't know, is that contour? I just took black and um, purple again. And just, um, yeah, contoured. Or darkened my crease. Um, so yeah, I did that like that. Then, once you have um, all of that done, then what I did is I lined my 
eyes with, can't remember, I think it's called Phone Number, it's by MAC. Um, I just did that on my waterline, and let me go get it really quick, I can't find it. Ah. Okay, so being pretty stupid, I accidentally threw it away, I guess. Um, yeah, that was really stupid. Um, but I'm just going to use Lacombe's, um, it's just black ebony, their eye pencil. And first, a tip, a tip to watering, to lining your waterline is don't stress out the muscles right there and pull. Just press, feel where the end of your eye socket is and just press with your finger like that. And then just... Line it. I, I'm going to have to do this off camera because I'm not skilled enough yet to do it on camera. So yeah, one second. Okay, I did that and my waterline as you can see. Oh, oops, I did that. Um, and then I lined just a little bit under my um, actual eyelash. And then to blend that out, I'm just taking Ben Nye's CB or KB00 brush. I don't really know. It's a lip brush. I mean, it's an eye pencil brush. Eye pencil? I mean, you know, eyeshadow brush. And then I'm just blending that out um, with that brush. So it'll have kind of a smoky eye effect um, to it. So yeah, I did that. Then I'm actually just going to tight line on top of my um, top lashes. And that'll give the effect like I think, uh, like my eyes, it'll just help them pop a lot more. So I'm going to really quickly do that off camera and then I'll show you what I do after that. So, yeah. Hey guys, so I had the tight line on and I messed up a little bit as you can see. So a great makeup remover, it's oil based, um, so that really helps remove the makeup, is Lacombe's Bifacial um, Makeup Remover. And just take a little bit of that. And olive oil takes makeup off great. If you guys didn't know that, the oil, uh, I don't know the science of it, but the oil, uh, just, it's amazing at taking off makeup. So, do that, then wipe it. Just make sure all of that makeup is off. So it is, and yeah. Then what I did was I took like a fluffy brush on my eye and then I just blended out the eyeliner to get it very, very intense. Um, and then the eyes are done. After that, I just took a blush brush and I took like a pink for my highlight. Looks like that. So I took that for my highlight, and then for my contour, I took kind of a golden copper color. It's a little bit hard to describe, but pretty much it's just like a golden copper. Um, yeah. So then your cheeks are done. Cheeks, sorry, did I say cheeks? Cheek. Um, and then I took EOS Lip Balm and Summer Fruit. Use whatever flavor you like the best. And yeah, then you're done. Um, yeah, enjoy, and I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Also, if you want, um, I think I will record a March Favorites video because I just keep forgetting. Um, here, let me scooch out. Don't want to be in y'all's faces. And this look was also inspired by this jacket that I have with the purple on the back. Woo! Um, but anyway, um, yeah, if you want a March Favorites video, um, leave a comment down below. Maybe I'll do one tomorrow or something. But I have a lot of March Favorites. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you all soon. And I'll put a link in the description for where to buy the quite cute MAC cosmetics. You just buy them at maccosmetics.com. So, yeah. Um, talk to you all later. Again, bye. Love you.